This is Team 5's final presentation for Boss Swap, and here is the group. Hi, my name is Andrew Jaime. I'm a Management Information Systems major. I will hopefully be graduating in, in fall 2016. And the reason I took this management class wasn't only because I needed to take it for my base management courses, but also because um, in my internship, I constantly use these concepts every single day. Um, I'm challenged to deal with people that aren't quite technologically advanced as I am, so uh, I have to use these management concepts to actually get through my day without getting fired. Hi, my name is Jashana Stevens. I am a accounting major with a projected graduation date of December of 2016. I took Principles of Management not only because it's a core business class, but also because I knew I would learn a lot of different concepts that will help me in the future in regards to my career. Hi, my name is Ian Sweeney. I'm a business management major, hopefully graduating in fall of 2016. And I decided to take this class to help me hopefully implement my business plan later on in life. Hi, I'm Kayla Thomas, and I am a finance major. I plan on graduating in the next couple of years. Um, I took principles of man management so I can better understand businesses and how they function. Boss Swap is a reality TV show where bosses from different businesses switch positions for two days. Our two businesses are Laced Up, which is a shoe store located in New York City, and DIY Hardware, which is located in Alabama. The purpose of our show is to find weaknesses and issues within the businesses to not only better their operations, but improve the employees' outlook of, of the companies. A reality TV show is intrusive, but should be very beneficial for all parties in the end. Boss Swap is meant to improve the business as a whole. The film crew will be sent to both businesses for two days, and employees at each business will have to work together and accept their new boss if they want to keep their job. Managers and directors will have to use basic management techniques throughout the entire show. Our target audience is anyone from 18 years old and up who is in a management position, and even though our show is about two specific stores, it is meant to help show our audience workplace problems and how to work through them. Our business pitch will be broken up into five episodes, each depicting a different issue at one of the stores. The last episode will show how each issue was resolved. Clyde is the manager and owner of Laced Up. He is 31 years old and has been working in the business since he was 22. He is unfortunately technologically challenged and he loves how far his business has come in the nine years he's been in business. In the episodes following, you will find out how Clyde faces his challenges with technology and soon realizes that it is beneficial to him and his business to upgrade in regards to better POS systems in the stores. Brooke is an employee at Laced Up. She is currently a college student at New York University studying law and she is working to pay her way through school. She has been employed at Laced Up for about two years. Cynthia is an employee at Laced Up. She immigrated from India at age 18 to experience better job opportunities here in America. She is currently seeking to attend college in order to receive a bachelor's degree in communications. Lucinda is the manager at DIY Hardware. She is left-hand dominant and she has a Bachelor's of Science in Engineering, but has not found a career in her field. In the following episodes, you will see how it conflict can arise when employees are not aware of their colleagues' cultural beliefs and differences. Dwayne is an employee at DIY Hardware. He has been employed there for about three years now, and he is currently doing all that he can do to impress his 
manager so that he can get a promotion to a manager position within the store himself. Michael is an employee at DIY Hardware. He is a former contract worker whose business failed, resulting in his wife leaving with the children and filing for divorce. He is having a terrible week at work due to his personal issues, and in the following episodes, you will see how Michael is taught to deal with his personal issues while working. Leonardo is the director of the production crew. He constantly has a migraine due to the different personalities that are on his production crew that he has to deal with. He is tactical in thought. He is a courageous leader, very responsible, and he faces the challenges that any manager would face in regards to dealing with their employees when he has assigned specific tasks to each employee based on their skill set. Raphael is the sound guy of the production crew. He is very strong and has been known to accidentally break multiple boomsticks on set. He is willing to do whatever is necessary to complete the task at hand. In the following episodes, you will see the challenges that Raphael faces when he accidentally lets the boomstick slip into the filming of the show. Michelangelo is the film editor on the production crew. He knows how to get the job done right the first time. He is never seen without a piece of pizza in his hand, and he is extremely creative. Donatello is the cameraman on the production crew. He is always available to help someone out. He is creative but loves the art of sound film. In the following episodes, you will see the challenges that Donatello faces when he gets a bit distracted and forgets that he is recording this show. In our first episode, Lucinda starts her first day at Laystep and immediately runs into an issue with integration. Cynthia and Brooke know how to sell shoes, but Clyde deals almost exclusively with the admin work as well as the making of the shoes. He lacks a basic knowledge of how to sell these high-end custom shoes to their clientele, and it's hindering their sales when Cynthia or Brooke are busy with other customers. In episode 2, Lucinda notices hostility from Cynthia throughout their morning at work. Lucinda and Brooke are both confused as to why Cynthia is upset. Lucinda happens to be left-hand dominant, while Cynthia, coming from an Indian culture, sees the use of the left hand as unclean and is angry at Lucinda. Unfortunately, Clyde didn't mention to Lucinda about Cynthia's cultural background, and there has been controversy since the first day of Boswell. In episode 3, Clyde's first day is going extremely rough due to his inability to operate DIY hardware's POS system. Dwayne, working with an assortment of POS systems throughout his life, feels as though Clyde is underqualified to hold the manager's position. Dwayne, throughout the day, works the POS system, and Clyde purposely avoids Dwayne and the problem at hand. In episode 4, Clyde's second day in his managerial role at DIY Hardware begins rocky, when Michael is heard arguing with a customer over the phone regarding supplies needed for his small house project. Clyde approaches Michael regarding his attitude with the customer, and Michael informs Clyde about his personal issues regarding the divorce with his wife. Episode 5 is a conclusion of the previous four episodes. Lucinda informs Clyde that he needs to make an effort to improve his customer skills at Laced Up and integrate with his employees more. Lucinda finally learns why Cynthia was upset with her after Clyde informs Lucinda that Cynthia is from India and still very culturally different. Dwayne sees Clyde trying to work with Michael to improve his attitude at work. This makes Dwayne realize that Clyde may be a good manager after all, so he helps Clyde with the POS system. And in conclusion of the Boss Swap show, Clyde realizes his company could benefit from a POS system through the ease of checking inventory and tracking sales. So in conclusion to our project, 
As a group, we've learned what it takes to work in a team that has a variety of availabilities, as well as living over 30 minutes away and still being able to get all the work done. This project wasn't easy, and we've had our ups and downs, but if there's one thing that we've all learned from this project, it's the value of time. It's important to be flexible and understanding, and we are a group, and at the end of the day, our grades are intertwined.